Hello everybody again. Here's another ben benchmark that we're going to be doing. We're going to be benchmarking the the videos that were done uh, for these four games before. Uh, if you saw the December videos, then you'll get a sense of what you're seeing here. So basically for each of the games, there was an average FPS, uh, a low one, a high one there, but the average for those. Um, and supposedly with a new driver 525.78, uh, which I got installed here, uh, let me show you, there we go, see? Um, and everything's the same thing here. Uh, supposedly there's better uh, performance overall for a lot of games, but I'm just gonna be testing this ones, okay? Because you know, they're more, the, they're more intensive. So let's start uh, with RDR2. Uh, it says here that we had an 120 on the last video that we did with this driver, we had an 120 FPS. Um, here it is. So let's see. Let's see how that one goes. What's the average? You're going to see in real time, basically, at the same time that I'm about to see it here. Uh, the average FPS that we're gonna get. It's all. It's gonna use the same settings. I'm not gonna be changing anything on any of the four games. We're just using the same ones that we had um, a month back with a with a 525.60 driver. Oh, that, that's another thing. Uh, we have the 6.1.5 uh, kernel. That's another thing there. That that was for to fix an audio issue that I was having. And yes, a couple of things. They're not related to this because uh, when I tested this kernel, I still had not updated the, the to the 525.60. So let me show you the settings here. Okay, let me see. Okay, we got VSync disabled. That's what I wanted to know. I don't know if I'm supposed to disable this or that one, but that's how the game was uh, on the last test. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And we're just gonna roll with it. Do know that if you have a Z7090 um, from Asus, you, there's still two little bugs about Bluetooth and the audio. Um, that's why we got the kernel 6.1 here that actually fixed multiple minor issues. They're not killing the, the system, but just uh, compatibility issues. I think on the 6.2 or 6.3, we should be getting uh, basically everything rounded out here. So you have a nice motherboard, super compatible and everything. Again, these benchmarks are based on default. There's no overclocking of anything, okay, just in case. So let's see how it goes. So basically before he said that we had 120, so it's seeing the same thing here. Yeah. Yeah, same drop, same we call the horse. That was power temp. Yeah, we're getting the same amount of FPS drops before. And the average there too. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, 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 dude. Okay. Sorry. In any case, oh, it's throttling. Well, we're 
getting... I can't get an idea there. We're getting lower FPS for some reason. Because, and let's go to the file. These were the average ones in, in that area that I was just testing. Okay. Now let's go to GTA 5. Yeah, I need to, needed to configure something here, but hey, that's the test. Uh, GTA 5, here it is. settings uh display uh no graphics okay yeah graphics okay we can see it here yep i got the msa8 so we can try to lag the game as much as possible um but let me show you here we got remember i always put it on direct x 10 because the game actually has some issues on 11 actually crashes uh, hopefully that that will impact the the performance but the, the previous test was actually using direct x 10 too so okay you can see just to be open here you can see all the you know, settings and blah 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 okay let's go to story mode oh yeah I forgot what the average FPS was. Uh, I'm forgetting, but let's just drive. The typical test that I did. I get the hell out of here. Go down this street. Oh. Actually, I get down the street and try to look for that car. This car. Oh, Whoops. Unbelievable. What? Whoops. My excellent driver. Get the idea how many FPS we're getting here. Or at least the average. Okay, that that's it. Ran out of car. So let's see. Also 120. It was a little bit over 120 most of the time, but hey. Okay, Witcher 3. Let's see, Witcher 3. Witcher 3, we're, we're getting 215. Okay. 
215. Yeah, right X 11. Bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Okay, you saw the settings today, you saw everything. Let's see the PS value. Black one's oh, been not, not on this field. map. Let him measure. To be fair, we gotta test it on... yeah, this one. In the last video. The spell, Geralt and Yen learned that Ciri had returned to the Isles. She'd rejoined her friend, the Masked Mage. They had boarded a boat and sailed off in an unknown direction. The boat had returned, one passenger on board. A creature as mindless as it was hideous. Dude, that creature looks better than that. Um, okay. So we're getting... Oh crap, I forgot what the average FPS was. Well anyway, you can see the FPS. I'm gonna do the same routine. Go through here. I'm getting what? 270 something. Oh whoa, that went out. Same settings, the only difference is the The video drive. What happened? Wow. Come on, Roach. What again? Back. Move it. Come on now. Okay. Well, you can see the average. Okay. Get the hell out of here. Let's see what the average was supposed to be. Jesus. Okay. So for some reason... Hmm. Aren't these two games created by the same company? And this one too? No? Alright, anyway. But... See a pattern there. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so Witcher 3, um, that's a huge boost. Okay, this one, I'm going to say it was the same thing. Same thing. And here we got a huge boost. Oh, anyway, you, you'll get the, you, you get the idea, but I know it was more than 50 FPS there. Uh, Cyberpunk. A Cyberpunk. Uh, Cyberpunk, we have, what? 99 was the average. Okay. Okay. Uh, again, it's the same settings as last time. You know, quality instead of performance. Uh, no ray tracing because it crashes. Um, Blah blah blah. You, you see the same thing there. Uh, be sync disable and everything else is the same as the last time that we test. And this is the the one that we were testing, always testing. Okay. Hey everyone, feels great. So let's you see back. those 99 Did you all hear about average. That? Well, immediately you can see a difference. 140. So. The jump there. On your toes. Core bodies incoming. They're almost on you. Wait for your chance. Make the prick off. 
Okay. So he's averaging like around 130. Okay. 140. Whatever. Look up to the sky. a little bit more and we are any weapons. Oh, I do. So, yeah, you can see that it's around, what, 130? Whoa. That's fast. Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Okay. 130 and... Between 130 and 140. We're getting. Yeah, at least in this area. This is benchmarking. I'll run that later. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. We were before 90. So again, here we got what? Uh, 30 plus frames. So that's a. Uh, that gives you an idea of the changes um, on Ubuntu, at least, uh, with Nvidia 525.78. So there was a boost. On some games, it's basically the same thing. Maybe it's because of the the, the game engine. On others, it, it's there's actually a boost there. So that's that's good to know. Hope this helps, and I'll be doing another benchmark um, in regard using gravity. Gravity. Um, what do you call it? Um, gravity. Let me see. Gravity Mark. Okay. So we'll be using Gravity Mark to test Ubuntu. Uh, 6.1 against uh, two other type of kernels, um, Sandmod and Leakwar. So uh, supposedly they're gaming uh, or they're optimized or they being uh, people recommend them for gaming. We're gonna be testing them with Gravity Mark to see how they performs with a uh, video card. So stay tuned. Thank you, big hugs to everybody, and think positive as always.